Right, so here's a little bit of code to illustrate how you might actually use that uh, bank account object. Um, first of all, this is uh, this is the type here, and that's a variable account one. This creates two accounts, uh, two bank accounts, and uh, here's how you do it. Uh, you, there's the uh, variable account one. There's the type bank account, and here's the call to the constructor for bank account with this keyword new in front of it. Uh, there's the uh, account number, the uh, uh, balance, opening balance, and um, the name. And uh, that apparently is how much he's worth, D. Beckham. Um, and uh, these things here are what's called a, a reference to um, the object. So that uh, uh, creates two bank account objects, account one and account two. Um, uh, basically, they're, uh, they point in some sort of sense to the object. Now these don't necessarily have to be conventional pointers. Um, there are various uh, manage memory management schemes where they, uh, when they go sort of indirectly to it via some sort of handle mechanism. So they're, they're not uh, necessarily pointers. Again, you can't uh, you can't actually know that because they're not used like pointers are in uh, in C or C++, where you can actually get the pointer in and uh, manipulate it and access bits of memory you're not supposed to and cause all sorts of problems. You can't do that with Java. Okay, uh, here's uh, an example of its uh, use uh, of the uh, dot notation. If you, if you remember what that uh, bank account class looked like, one of the things in it was balance. And uh, this is uh, this accesses the balance from account 2 and uh, subtracts off the balance from account 1 and use that dot to access the fields in the in the object. As you can see, and uh, that's the difference between them, which would uh, be 111, 111 uh, million by the looks of things. And it prints out here the uh, account two customer name as well, so that. Uh, Something I mentioned once before: the um, plus sign um, um, is, uh, means that this thing is turned into a, um, a string in this case because of the context that it's in. Um, so that means that uh, the ca that customer name is uh, concatenated onto that um, as uh, whatever that difference is is then turned into a string uh, more than account to well it prints out what you'd expect and. Um, this then takes the money out of account two and puts it into a difference into account one. So it reverses the situation. Okay, now here is uh, here's something that makes it quite clear what these uh, pointer things are. Um, uh, if we use set account one equal to account two like that, if you just do that, what happens is before I've got account one here sitting in. Sitting there, right, and it, it would point to the object in memory somewhere. Effectively, it points to it, and account two effectively points to it. If you if you if you then execute this account uh, one equals account two, then and what it does is um, account two gets copied into account one, so that they both point to this, and then this is sitting by itself. With nothing pointed to it, and if it has nothing pointed to it, eventually that amount of uh, memory that's uh, is not being uh, pointed to by anything will eventually get reclaimed by the system, and then can be reused again. That's a process called garbage collection, which uh, we'll come to eventually. Now, you don't have to do anything; it does that automatically. Unlike uh, C and C++ where you have to explicitly do something to enable that to be reclaimed.